So this week, Southern California got a fun-sized winter swell, and I'm going to take you guys along with my week of training, doing video analysis as someone who is a below-average surfer who just wants to get better and have fun. Good morning. Today is 5.30 a.m., and we're going to go surfing. Should I wash my water bottle or let it be? Honestly, I found mold on it the other day and I literally just did not do anything, but. Guys, so literally last week I went surfing every day and my eyes turned into this. I literally looked baked all the time. Some of you guys commented on my videos and told me to just put an eye drop before and after serving. So I was recommended this one. It's called Gentile. Apparently, this one has an ingredient called hypromolose that is supposed to help. Plan is to go to trestles. I don't know if we're going to go to lowers, middles, or uppers. So let's just check the waves and see. So we're here at lowers. I really need to go to the bathroom right now, but I don't think I can because all my friends are waiting for me at the beach. <sighs> but I really need to poop. deciding to surf lowers because it's pumping. Right, Kian? Oh uh, yeah, look behind us. I can see huge waves right now. <laughs> really excited. Okay, well, it was pumping a minute ago, but I'm really stoked because we haven't been to lowers in a minute. All right, so I definitely did not surf well. It was really crowded here at Trestles, and I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to specifically surf lowers on the first day of swell. So I only had the opportunity to surf the tiny inside section, but um, even that I couldn't surf very well. So I uh, enjoyed these funny clips of me struggling. How much money you want to bet that Kian's gonna be like walking in like this? Ah, man, there's just so many grippers out there. Like, the Groms got dead. I hate, I hate Groms. You hate the Groms? The Groms are literally the worst there. But what I hate most of all is Jade. Oh, for, 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 no. So, we're reviewing footage at the coffee shop, and I surfed pretty bad, like, two out of ten. But I'm honestly pretty fine, which is surprising, by the way. Usually I get really emotional. What am I not doing right? But I honestly feel fine because it's really not that serious compared to other things that could be going on in people's lives. Um, and I'm just really grateful to be in the ocean. And that's just that. Sometimes you don't surf well, but it's better than not surfing. Wow, who am I? You wanna do a second session? Yeah. Let's do it. Dude, everyone's gonna think I'm like this grumpy dude who hates groms. True. If you're a grom and you surf anywhere near me, you better be prepared for me to flip you over off your board and absolutely just drown you. No, I'm kidding. That is a joke. <laughs> Officer, that he's right here. It's one foot. Kian, shut up. Dude, it's one foot. It's Kian, what, where else do you wanna go? So I think we're gonna surf here for our second session. I'm stoked. Gonna hang out with my best bud. I'm not as stoked, but. Wow, you really are turning into JD Boo. Guys, remember when I used to be depressed every time I surfed bad? Now I've infiltrated. I didn't even surf that bad, too. That's I just the didn't thing. catch a lot of waves in that. That's the thing, out. and you're sounding like JD Boo. I just wanted to fight the Groms. I'm not gonna lie guys, the second session was pretty rough as well. Not my surfing, but it was just really competitive at T Street. There's a lot of local guys that rip and I'm just not an assertive surfer yet. And I was just kind of letting everyone go, uh, which is something I'm gonna work on for sure. But that stuff takes time because also I don't wanna drop in if I know I won't make it. But honestly, guys, I'm gonna say something that doesn't sound like me. I'm still stoked. Even though I didn't get a lot of waves, I'm still super grateful. And I hope this <laughs> inspires you guys, whether it's school or work, it's all okay to have days where you're down, but once you understand and accept it, trying to have gratitude, I think is so important because I think if you're watching this video right now, that means you have Wi-Fi, you have a phone probably, and we're just so lucky to be here. Guys, I sound like a guru right now, but I just genuinely believe that. Like, I'm so grateful that you guys are watching my videos. I have a home. I get to drink clean water. 
I'm very, very grateful. And I feel like the luckiest person on earth that I get to surf. So even though I sucked today, tomorrow will be a better day and I will try my best to stay positive. So right now we're gonna do some video analysis from the past few sessions. So my worst wave is from today. <laughs> oh. Good foot adjustment though. Okay, so one, we're at a really crowded spot, really competitive, so the swell's pumping. Jade is getting no waves, so she, she moves. She moves really far in where the really small ones are, but where there's less people. So she paddles in pretty great, but kind of makes a U shape with her body <laughs> instead of just popping up. Okay, so anyways, Jade is right now <clears throat> in the white water behind the, mm. where you want to be in the open face, the smooth be, part of the yeah. wave. So yeah, it's not her surfing. It's just we're on we're on a very small wave. Oh, nice. Oh, two, okay. Okay, okay. Jade doesn't go backside that often. It's <laughs> like pulling teeth kind of, so this is good. When people struggle turning the board, it's probably because their feet are too yeah. far. When you turn the board, you wanna be right over the fins. That's yeah. what, how you can manipulate the board drive. really easily. Drive. And there I see like, yeah, you're on the edge, yeah, the front bad. edge of the tail. I can't believe it's a bolsa chica. Oh. I, uh, ooh, that first one. Because the wave is so soft, you, you want to do a full, no, just like, if you were a little lower. Oh, lower, yeah. Hand in the water. Yeah, like yeah. more of Pivoting trying up. to do more, not really a roundhouse, <laughs> but like more of that. So you, you're really compressed and can push through that flat section. Where, where can people find you? Um, you can find me mostly on Instagram. I'll be introducing Good morning, guys. I just finished my morning journaling and meditation, and I feel very centered. I wanted to share that one thing that I'm going to be working on in today's surf is to have courage. I know that sounds pretty basic, but I think especially with my goal of pulling into barrels, and hopefully bigger ones one day, you need to be able to have a bit of, not only just courage, but courage to fail. Because most often than not, before you get into a barrel, you're gonna pull into a closeout, which is when the wave just like shacks you. And I just have to be okay with failing, sometimes getting shacked. I have training for that, like I go to breath training. I just want that to be the theme of the rest of the week. Yeah, courage to fail. Let's see how it lands, I don't know. Yeah, we're getting small. If you like these vlogs, I'm posting on Snapchat, essentially like every day, real time surf vlogs. So go add me on Snapchat. It's just Jade the Crayfish because I'll be posting more like candid stuff. And I would love for you guys to connect with me on there because we can chat real time. If you guys know, you know. I love using my surf banana when I put on my wetsuit. And all right, we're doing a wave check. Let's see if there are quarters. You know what? I think I can work with that. Um, it's a little bit drained right now. Like the tide is really low. So as the tide comes up, I'm sure it will improve. So even though I fell a lot during the session, I ended up having so much fun towards the end. I felt like I was way more in my element, surfing a less crowded beach break, and I ended up getting these fun little clips. You guys, I had so much fun today. Even though I ate a lot of shit, I feel like I feel like I'm maneuvering the board a little bit better. Obviously, there's so many things I can improve. I feel like I'm not compressing enough. I'm not like counter rotating after. But honestly, I'm so stoked. How was your session? I had a blast. We got a ding, you guys, from Kian's fin. My. Can we see the ding? The ding didn't all that. <laughs> Show them. Which is Show worse? Jay's board. What? Or the Jay's, board? Jay's board. That's my board. Probably. Kian's board. I got this Japanese brown rice milk tea. Oh! 
split. So it's 7 p.m. I don't know what I'm doing, but now I'm at breath training. <laughs> I'm gonna be training in the water, holding my breath, doing underwater weight exercises for two hours till 9 p.m. I'm absolutely fried, but I'm doing this because I wanna get better at surfing and I'm also super stoked. Breath training is really fun to me. So let's get ready. <laughs> it's so late right now, like the sky is dark. Okay, what did you have to tell me today to convince me to come to breath training today? I lured her with a video. I was like, she can make a video about how she doesn't feel great and she's still gonna train anyway. Exactly, so we're gonna listen to her body, still have good time training, pushing ourselves, but not too far. She's gonna do what she can. Exactly. So the reason why I even go to breath training every week is because I'm scared of bigger waves. I had so many instances where I paddled out and felt like I was drowning. So I've made an effort this year to go to once a week breath training to increase my tolerance for hold downs. So first we did these bubble ring static breath holds and then we did seven rounds of this breath hold swim and you take one breath at the end of the pool but then you only get one breath per five paddles. So your heart rate's increasing but you can only take one breath every five paddles. <laughs> This is what too much surfing looks like. <laughs> there was too much swell this week, guys, and last week. I was so tired at this point, but we had 12 rounds of these underwater rock runs with 70 pound weights. <laughs> and finally, we did this swim exercise. I don't even know what's going on at this point. I'm just trying to survive. But finally, we finished class. To be fair, you made it all the way on the first one. Yeah, you know what? You guys see that one? <laughs> Thanks, guys. You did it. Good job. I just got a little package from Red Bull. It gives you wings. So the way this works is we're going to crack this box like that's the PR package you literally have to hammer it in so Claire are you ready three two one that is sick the winter edition flavor is ice vanilla berry and there's a sugar-free version and a regular that is pretty sick it gives you wings good morning guys it's 6 45 a.m. we're gonna go surfing because there is swell. Guys, I am so proud of yesterday's ding repair. Like, look at this. Tell me it kind of looks professionally done. It's really, it's perfect. <laughs> Call me a ding repair woman. I'm gonna open up a shop because that was pretty sick. Okay, I'm gonna try to record this next part calmly because every time I record this clip, I start screaming. I will get rid of this long board if y'all keep telling me. I see a lot of guys' comments sometimes saying, gee, just get a longer board. Gee, get a bigger board. And let me just say, I hear you, I see you. I think you want me to have more fun, but the answer is politely no. Because I totally get it, if the waves are super small, you need a longer board like to get more volume, and if the waves are super big, you also need more volume to kind of paddle into it. But, okay, the waves I'm surfing, they're like chest high, head high. I'm going to shortboard. I don't want to nose right. I don't want to. I'll ride a mid-length, god dang it. But I will not ride a wild board. No more, no more get a bigger board comments. I hear you. I see you. Don't want to hear anymore. Okay, let's try this. First impressions. So my tradition. Oh my gosh, that's really good. It tastes kind of like a fruit snack to me. Okay, so now we're going to drink this and head into the water. I'm psyched. The waves are popping. No, they're not. They're literally like this high. But um, you guys know me. I'm working on having a positive attitude. Don't want to hear anymore. I'm going to shortboard. I don't want to know who's right. All right, I know I just talked so much smack about longboarding just before this, but I really got trolled here because the waves were so small. I should have brought a bigger board. I know I'm gonna get so many comments being like, bruh, but um, you know, if there's something about me, I will stand corrected and own up to it. So you know what, sometimes you're wrong and that's okay. So I ended up borrowing my friend's mid-length just to cruise on it because I was struggling to surf these ankle high waves. So this is me grabbing rail on her mid-length. Show me your uh, uh your uh, barrel sets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Backside. Chee hoo! You're out. 
claim it. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'm here with. Uh, I'm Marcelo. Marcelo. I'm, I'm Mauricio. I'm Davi. And uh, you guys surf? Oh uh, yeah, I do. That's I'm so trying so to teach them how to surf. I want to start surfing. Yeah, they man. just said hi, and they said they watched the vids. So. Oh yeah. Like and subscribe. Are you like and subscribed? Of course. Wow! Shoot, that's so sick. Nice to meet you guys. Come to Kane's, guys. Come to Kane's. Kane's meet up, everybody. Good morning, everybody. So it's the next day. It's 8.15 a.m. And I was going to surf today, but this is how the waves look. So I think tomorrow is a day to aim for because that's when the swell is actually peaking. Uh, four to five tomorrow in Huntington. Instead, I'm going to go to the gym. We're going to do some mobility workouts to get my muscles warmed up for tomorrow. I'm using this app called Surf ready fitness i'm not sponsored just i really do like this app this is the workout i'm following it's like a surf literally it's about mobility and flexibility which i think is the vibe increasing range of motion lengthening muscles and resetting the body let's do it so first i started off on the assault bike i love doing this for paddling muscles and cardio and I'm doing a lot of stretches here following the Surf Ready Fitness app. I'm not gonna lie, my shoulder lately has been really hurting. I think it's in my labrium. So essentially, I hear like a clicking noise every time I paddle, which is not good. So I'm doing some mobility and rehab exercises for that. But to be honest, if you guys have any tips for a clicking shoulder or a rotator cuff that's throbbing, let me know because I haven't been prioritizing rehab and stretching in my surf workouts. So I'm definitely gonna do this minimum once or twice twice a week to make sure I'm not injuring myself. Good I already morning. started the vlog. Good morning, guys. This fog is gnar. We can't even see the waves. I can't even see Kian. He's just blending into the background. We're waiting for the fog to chill, but this is pretty ominous. Ominous? Ominous. Ominous. You had to describe Jade as an animal. Uh, koala. Super friendly, oh. loving. Uh, it's sweet. I would say like a kangaroo. I don't know if you've seen the way they like kick stuff when they get mad. That's kind of like it. <gasps> Kangaroos are scary. Yeah, like you when you're mad. Yeah, it's true. Would I get mad if you drop in on me? Yo, what, would you, you. Which, what would you say? Uh, what's that Australian one? Tasmanian <laughs> devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this is a good one. Guys, you're all gonna answer this. Do you think I would be able to start surfing even though you're in your late teens? I'm scared because all my friends have been surfing since they were little kids. So what's really interesting is all of us have actually surfed when we were older, I would say, right? So when did you start surfing? 24. <laughs> I started surfing at 20. And when did you start surfing? Uh, oh. I really got into it at 15. So you can do it. So you can do it. Okay, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right. So we just finished surfing. I definitely did not surf that well but i did send it on some bombs so i honestly feel like although the progress isn't necessarily linear i'm progressing in other ways so yeah i just want to highlight that because i struggle definitely with feeling like i'm enough in the water and like doing something but some days just even showing up and going after your fear is progress so yeah, I'm really stoked. We're gonna now eat some lunch. I'm gonna eat with my friends. And I literally am so grateful and so lucky. So if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give this video a like for more good vibes and more surf vlogs. This is C. We were in the Maldives together and I haven't seen her since. And I missed you, my mama. How are the waves today? We got slammed. <laughs> <laughs> but did you get barrel? Wait, what I the fuck? What? Not me, mama. This guy got twice. But we have so much so, fun. I saw you send it on some, send it on some waves. Super nice for you. It's not me. <laughs> Got a chicken quesadilla. I get fritita burrito. It's so good. Oh, and the shrimp is so Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, right. Sick. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, guys. We're going to go surfing at Trestles this morning. It's getting a lot colder here in California, so I don't even know if this outfit is even warm enough. I feel like I haven't been surfing as much quality waves, so it's just harder to progress. Two, uh, because of that, I feel like I've been surfing pretty mid, like bad. And I'm not trying to even be mean to myself, like I just don't feel like I'm surfing at my best. It's, I'm a little bit frustrated. So hopefully, Trussles today could be my redemption arc. We'll see. I'm making myself a little electrolyte. This is the one I'm using today. We just got to Trestles and it's firing. What the fuck? Look at that. Oh my god, empty wave. What the fuck? 
It's firing, brother. Um, one thing I'm working on today is to shred. I feel like I've been going kind of mid the last week. So today, my goal is to lock it in and shred my mouth. Uh, make sure you guys like this video and comment below to be the next comment winner. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. And let's go surfing. I know it looks like I caught a lot of waves this session, but this is only the highlights in the span of two hours of filming. So I was really frustrated this session. Something scary kind of happened. I've never had this happen to me, but my body started freezing. Not like I was tired, but when I would go for waves, my self-doubt and negative self-talk was so bad, my body would just turn off and I wouldn't be able to paddle into a wave. I don't know how to explain it, but I ended up getting a sick one at the end, but this was a tough session. How was my session today? Be honest. Um, I don't know. I kind of forget. It was such a long session. I. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just recap. The first hour, I was sitting like a duck. And then I got a few waves. And then the second hour, I was just getting really frustrated because the waves were getting softer. And then I had a mental breakdown on the beach. I cried and Ryan wiped my tears. Literally. People think that I like do this for the views. No, I genuinely... Yeah, I wasn't sure either. No. You were legit. I was legit like, crying, Ryan was like, and then I got two more waves and then it made my day because I try to hit 10 waves per session minimum. And if I don't hit it, I kind of want to talk myself off the ledge. No, 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 I want to kill myself and then Ryan talks me off the ledge. Wait, like, this was a session where like, no, really? Like, why why aren't you getting up and just like oh racing a little bit? Ryan, it's just- Just a little early. Like, this is your floater session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have like two more pumps here, one, two, and then come on. Yes. Top. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, you know how to pump. I said, you know how to pump. I know, thank God. <laughs> You're not in the. But I like that. This was actually smooth. What? All right here, up. I like that. See that projection? Thanks, Ryan. And then you were a little confused. I was, <laughs> I was confused. Uh, Right, but that was cool, and you stayed with it. Yeah, that's Look true. That's true. I mean, that's. Wow. That's. <laughs> yeah. Brian, what are my takeaways? <laughs> it's, it wasn't that bad. It was bad. Missed, it missed a lot of good waves. It so. was bad. He was sitting on the beach for two and a half hours. It was a long session. For ten just waves. Paddling really hard into waves, not giving up just because you think you paddle in way too casually on a lot of good waves. And there are so many nice, proper waves to be had today. So there's that. Should I just get a bigger board right now? this shit. Shout out to the caught winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.